So the car passes into the keeping of the army. Now that the two-pounder and visa guns have been added to complete the equipment, we can make a detailed examination of the external features of this fine car. Commander and gunner occupy the turret, while the driver sits well forward between the front wheels. But let's deal with the turret first. The lead swings easily back, and the rubber-mounted aerials are whippy enough to bend and not break when they meet obstructions. The periscope, swiveling independently, gives the commander good all-round vision even when closed down. On the near side front of the turret are the gunner's lookout and telescope aperture. In the middle, the two-pounder and visa thrust purposefully out. On the off side is a spotlight mounted on a ball joint. Behind, an observation slit opening from inside only. Then, two four-inch smoke projectors fired from inside. Next, a revolver port, which, when closed, leaves a smooth exterior. Further on, we come to the back of the turret and get a better view of the long and short-range aerials. The locked box holds rations. Still turning on, another revolver port and observation slit show on the near side of the turret. Then, onto the front and the guns once again. These are coaxially mounted and can elevate 25 degrees or depress 15 degrees all the way round. Now to the body, at the front of which there are two side lights but one headlamp only. The driver, fully closed down, sees through these slits. With the visor open, a bulletproof screen protects him and a larger door will open too. The large box in front holds not only tools, but greatcoats as well. Now we'll get the car turned to see what there is on the off side of the body. Both wings carry adjustable driving mirrors. Notice too the space here for suspension movement. This box carries the petrol stove and Dixie, and above is a two-gallon water can. Door handles are inside only, and here is the petrol filler. On the door is the main drinking water tank. Camouflage net and tarpaulin are carried in this container, the radiator blanking plate here. Now we'll get the car to move on again and get a back view. The engine is here, you remember and this cover moves to give access to it. These are the louvers through which air passes to cool the radiator. The starting handle hole is covered by a plate to exclude water. Two rear lamps are fitted, and this tin condenses steam from the radiator in hot countries where water is precious. A tow rope hooked onto the towing eyes is carried, and this slit looks out directly to the rear. On the near side are the pick head, the silencer, shovel, pick helve, and spare wireless aerial rods. The near side door carries map case and matchet, and below is a second petrol filler. The jack and fire extinguisher complete the outside gear. The Daimler armored car is a vehicle designed to carry every essential for its role in modern warfare. Get to know the position of each item, see that it is secure. It's there for a definite purpose and a lot may depend on it.